Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Baubles, and we're almost down to the wire with the 25 pound shopgoodwill.com jewelry bag. I'd like to finish this up quickly and get on to some new things. So let's finish this one up and see what we could do. First, I'd like to show you this beautiful piece of art glass. It's got foil inside and it is how do I describe the color? It's got browns and coppers and marbly white. Very beautiful. It's on this cord with the older sort of clip clasp. So we have this piece and we'll get started with this for $8. Let's start my new pile. Okay, we've got a wooden bracelet another wooden bracelet and oh you know what i think i'm gonna do with this i think i'm gonna put these green pieces aside for our fun bags like our color fun bags so stick stick with me and stay subscribed so you can see our like friday night or saturday night fuller 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 bags, color fun bags. You have all really enjoyed those, so I'm gonna sneak those aside for that. This is a very large necklace that we dealt with in our Untangle video. Thank you for watching that if you haven't seen it and you like to just see someone untangle things and just have a quiet sort of time, then please go to my videos and you'll see it in there. This is a brass very long, very silky feeling necklace. I think I'm gonna lot these up. This is a wooden beaded necklace. The beads are very nice. I like the, the kind of wood, the different colors, and maybe an antler piece? I think so. And these couple of bracelets, I think we're gonna put those together. We've got some purple puka beads. We'll see about you in a minute. What else? I do want to get this done. Oh yeah, we saw this before, but it is a bit scratchy. It's so pretty, but they are a bit scratched. So probably lot that up. What else have we got? This looks like a dark chain. Okay, come on. No more tangles. I had enough of those tangles. Dark chain. Oh, I know what this is. So it's the lava rock and some howlite that's not dyed. And pretty crystals in between. Um, yeah, we'll put this in here too. Okay, we've got a necklace. It's gold tone. Silver tone and gold tone. A Chico's? Okay. All right, I see. So it's a long Chico's station beaded. But I think that I don't know if the top would have been silver tone or if it just has wear. That's unusual. Chico's usually hold out really well, so they must have put the silver tone. Don't know, but I'm going to put that in this bag, too. And there is a very neon beaded necklace. Does not have a clasp. Does feel like glass, and every one of these are knotted in between. That's bright, isn't it? Interesting. You can tell I want to open that new box because I am just like, let's get this done. This is neat. Um, I'd say that's a type of stone. This feels acrylic, like a little squash blossom style. The gold tone chain looks really nice. Like, not like... 14k but probably plated and let me just see if these are stone yes they are stone 
That's a cutie. I hate to put it in the bag and then somebody really wanted it. So let me just say $6 on this. And I've got to keep my things in order. So magnetic bracelet. Blue. Oh, it's got like a druzy on it. That's pretty. All right, I'm just going to put it in here. Another bracelet. Silver tone. Glass. Different types of glass and seed beads. We have a very pretty tree necklace. Now that's an older clasp. That is an older lobster clasp. So this tells me it's some type of vintage piece, but I'm not seeing any marks on it. So I don't know, but the crystals are pretty. Okay, we'll still put that in there. There is a, oh, it looks like a silhouette of a girl on this bracelet that you can adjust. And we have a hematite fish, Christian fish, on leather. Again, another older type clasp. Leather and a moon necklace. Another boho purple that says faith on it this one i did look at after the untangle i could not figure out if it's um, amber or not i have tried and tried with the black light i don't know what i'm looking for um, sometimes acrylic can show up as fluorescent under the black light too so i'll put this in here i don't know if it's amber but whoever gets it, can you please let me know if it's Amber? Because I'd love to know. Okay. We have a clamper bracelet that is looking like how light, but I believe it's acrylic. Darker metal, really nice shape. And I'm just going to throw that in there. Um, what else? We have silver tone necklace. Oh, it's got copper, butterfly, I am enough, I am loved, and a gold tone piece that says beautiful. This looks nice. Looks like good quality. It is a necklace, and the crystals look very nice on it. So that goes in there, and I'm going to put this in too. The stretch is good. Looks like a dyed... Let's see. You can't just guess. Looks like coated glass. So in my last video, I was talking to you about the, the um, um, what were those blue, cobalt blue glass beads. They were square. And I was saying that I look at the bead holes like this to see if something is solid or if they've been dyed. And this is a great example of how these glass beads have been coated with some pink coating. It still looks very beautiful, but when you're trying to evaluate a piece, sometimes you want to know if something's been coated or if it's all the way through. So that's my little lesson on that. And this, I don't know where this came, not where it came from. It came from the bag, but I didn't see what it went on, except that there's little evidences of like a string or something but not many so that was a bit strange i think i'm gonna save this for our matchy bags whisk that aside but these are cool beads let's have a look we got this big one it is acrylic they all seem to be acrylic see what i mean about these little bits of plastic and I don't know if the pearls went on this as well, if it was something else, but I'm going to put these in this bag. They're all purple and blue and roundels and little sparkles. So that's that. And I've been holding off on this because I'm looking at it across the table here. And it looks to me like real pearls, so... Let's 
finish up our bag and then we'll look at that necklace. How about that? So I've been naming the bags after my brothers and now we are on my third brother whose name is Tony. There's 10 kids in my family and five girls and five boys. And I've named the first three bags after my brothers. And this one is after you, Tony. If you're gonna watch, I wanna say hi to you. So this is in honor of my brother, Tony. So we'll do this mishmash sort of bag. It's wearable, summer craft. Name Tony. Let's see, should we put the stretch ring in it? Yeah, sure, why not? And this one too. Because Sherry wants to open a new box. We will put this bracelet in. Yeah, why not? Put that in. What else? We want to finish, finish. Oh yeah, this came from the Untangle. Long chain. Some kind of feather. I think this is a set. So we'll talk about that in a minute. Some loose loose beads, one earring. We'll put that in our little craft jars. And a pair of earrings. I want to show you everything that I get in each box. These are really pretty. They've been put aside. I'm going to save those for our colored jewelry bags. I don't see any mark. I would think those maybe were like J. Crew or something. This piece goes on that necklace that was a mystery to us, but we figured out the V, sort of V tag. So I'll put that on that necklace. And then we have one lonely earring on copper. Save that for our craft jar. What does this say? Something was sterling. Must have been the ring that I found. Okay. I think we're all set with the Tony wearable, craftable, lots of beads and things bag. We'll do this one for, hmm. We'll mix up the numbers. We'll do this one for 17. So let me know if you love it. And if you do, just send me the video name, episode number, and say that you want the bag that's called Tony for 17, okay? Thank you for that. Now, let's see what this is. We have an empty bag. <laughs> that means on to more exciting well not more but it's all exciting right it's all fun but some of the boxes have been much you know fancier than others this one didn't disappoint but there were a lot more pieces in it that weren't all like wonderful some of the boxes I've got have had all wonderful pieces this one had some pretty cool stuff and some okay stuff so I'm looking forward to moving on. And my ring, of course. And we had another sterling ring in this box. And this looks to me like real pearls. And I would assume sterling silver. Oh yeah, those are real. Wow. Okay, so this is another gorgeous piece from this box. That makes me happy. I started to wonder if there was anything else left in it. I, I really hope this is sterling because they're all real pearls, has a toggle clasp, and I I would not know why anybody would make something without sterling, but it could be. We'll have to test it. It's definitely beautiful. Oh, reminds me of the pearls on this bracelet. I love this bracelet. It just has the lighter pearls, the darker. I wear it every day. Love this. It reminds me of those. Because I think some pearls... Okay, so the pearls that they make where they put an irritant in the in the oyster. I'm just going to say oyster. It's not truly an oyster. The oyster receives the irritant and it starts to release its nadir or its mother pearl stuff all around this little piece of sand or whatever they put in there. And it makes those very round pearls. Um, and then other pearls are solid. And for some reason that I can't remember at the moment, I think these are the more solid pearls, the irregular shape ones. 
either what they start these out with I don't know guys I'm sorry but these are the solid pearls for some reason I'll look it up and refresh my memory because I want to give you the right information but hopefully I told you a little bit of something about pearls pearls took me a long time um, I'm still learning about everything so this is about a 15 inch 14 15 inch necklace we know they're real pearls but we don't know yet if it's sterling but first let me use the magnet it's stuck to all kind of things over here now someone thought i didn't have a strong magnet but it is so incredibly strong it's from something that we had but it's very very strong so do know that not magneting at all Hopefully it says something on it. You know what? Close up, it does not look sterling. So maybe an artisan person made it. And they had all these real pearls. Yeah, I'm not seeing a mark and it does not look sterling. Doesn't feel sterling. To these? Hmm. You know, sometimes you just get something that someone made and it has different things going on. So let me just try this bead if I can do it without hurting anything. Let's see what we got. It is testing definitely on the lighter side. Might as well test this too. Hmm. Ooh, it is coming out lighter. Hmm. Okay, we don't know till we try, right? All right, I think that's enough for that. I'm going to use the 18 karat testing solution. Boy, my station looks crazy, doesn't it? Looks like we've been busy, and we have been. Let's see what it tells us. Just when I think I'm knowing something, it'll show me different, which is what I love about all this. The tools and the things that we use to figure things out. It's really fun to be able to, to know what a piece is made of, and especially to know its history. I'm not seeing any blue, but I don't know. I'm just going to, I don't know. It's not not blue, it's like kind of blue, but not really sure. I'm going to test it again because I just want to find a good place to do it. So we know that we have real pearls on this. We know that it's toggle clasp. It does turn kind of blue, but not like right away super blue. I don't know what to say. Are there beads that have some silver in them? Because it's not bright blue, but it's not going away. Um, I wouldn't think they would be white gold. This is really puzzling me. I hope you don't mind the extra time I'm taking. Um, and I'm getting tired, so I think that's part of it. I'm going to just ask what you guys think. It's not going away. It's not super bright. Maybe there's beads that have some silver in them. Let's just go with that. We'll measure it. I'll give a price and see what you think, because it is real pearls. It is 16 inches exactly. I'm going to say 30 on that. And we'll see what you think. Okay. Now, the last piece is a necklace. Silver tone. <clears throat> excuse me. Lobster clasp with matching earrings. 
very pretty blue beads. <clears throat> and we're almost done dealing with our phone that is faulty. My other one should come in the mail tomorrow, so. This is pretty. There's no name on it. Um, I love that the earrings are matching. Love the color of the glass beads. It measures 18 inches. And I'll say $6 on that set. Metal is in great condition. That's that one. Okay. So now is as good a time as any to inform you on how you can purchase jewelry from my channel. Please email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. Be sure to include the video name with the episode number two, the timestamps of when your pieces show, brief description of each piece, and the prices. And I'll be able to go right to that video. Make sure that I'm really getting the piece that you want. Because you wouldn't believe how many pieces are red this and that, or blue this and that. And we think we're talking about the same piece. But until I can go right to that video and look at that timestamp, I can't be sure if that's the exact piece you want. So this is really helpful information. I know it's a bit daunting sometimes to get all of this, but in the long run, it's great for all of us. So thank you so much. See, thank you. Love you for that. Love you for that. Okay, I'm going to stop a minute and make a craft jar. And we're going to name this one Katie. Oops, looks a little bit like an F, but it's not. It's a T. KT. So this is our Katie craft jar. And you know me, I've been putting things aside for my special people to fill the craft jar and see what you think. So let's get started filling this baby up. So some of these things are from this 25 pound bag that I just um, bagged up the last episode. And some of them were still in the bag, and I thought, let's just put them in the craft. So they went from the bag over to my craft stuff. You didn't see it happen, but now you are. This is a chain. Nothing wrong with it. Rolo-type chain. It's a dark metal. And that's our first piece. And this is that purple necklace we saw last time that just had a little bit of, I think, crackling, and I wasn't sure. So it might be perfectly fine. If not, you will know. And this little whale piece on the boho cord. Again, nothing wrong, just going in the craft jar. Another boho with a really pretty real pearl. Looks like someone painted it a little bit that's coming off. Um, nice condition. And we have this tassel -y piece that we got out of our tangles. Nothing wrong, good nice gold tone on there. We have the single earring from this 25 pound bag. These, I'm not sure if they are plastic, they feel plastic. So you'll know. These definitely feel like something cold that were painted. So you can figure that out too. It's a beautiful pendant. I believe it's made of glass. It's got foily, shiny. I will wrap this in a bubble wrap and put it like on the top so it doesn't break. But that's really nice. I like that. We have this faceted bracelet. Needs a new stretch. Lots of glass beads. These are glass faceted on the black beads. And some more real crystal beads. Oh, this is gorgeous. Love this. Look at those beads. Oh, I really wish I could make jewelry. I just don't have the time and my hands can only do so much. I love to knit socks and when I knit too much, I get this bump and I don't want to, I just can't. So it breaks my heart because I'd want to do it. But I know that you love to do it and some of you end up showing me the pieces you make, and I am in total awe. So thank you for sharing. This I couldn't figure out. I think it goes over the head because it's not a necklace. I'll show you because you need to know what I mean. It has like this and this and this. 
It's very cool. There's nothing missing, nothing wrong, but it's shaped like this. Okay, so I don't know. What do you think? Goes over someone's hair? It has to because this piece in the middle can't be a necklace. So I'm going to put it in the craft jar. You can wear it. You can glass pearl. You can figure out what to do with that. And I'm going to find some more craft pieces because I thought that would fill up the jar and it didn't. Here's another one of my donations from this string of crystals. Oh, I know what. I have this beautiful abalone button. Some hmm, silver plated earrings with little crystals on those. A whole bunch of gold tone earrings that I will take the time and take them off here. Maybe I could just do it now while we're chatting a little bit. So these are all hoops. They're all gold tone. And they sure do snap pretty well. Nothing wrong with their snap. You know what I'm trying to do is not use my fingernails to open everything. And it takes some getting used to because we all want to use our fingernails as tools, but I don't want to break them. Yeah, these are really on there good. That's good to know, at least. And I found something to yap about while I was taking it off. Wow, that's strong. So there's a bunch of hoops you can work with if you want to. Wow, strong. And last but not least, Okay, I really didn't think it was going to be that much work. Now, this is a treat, I hope, for someone. Isn't this so beautiful? It's a big glass pendant, pink with this green. Oh, what is that called when it's like, like gingham or argyle? It looks like argyle to me. It's stunning. It's just gorgeous. I don't know if this is sterling on the edges. It does look like it, but I'm not going to bother it. And I will put it in here carefully. I'll also wrap it in some bubble and make sure it goes carefully, okay? But I've had that a while. It's so beautiful. Okay. Oh, this should be a treat because this is all vintage jewelry in here. So these components are going to be vintage. Some type of brooch. Now, they don't make things like that anymore. The, the old vintage jewelry. The materials, the time was just incredible. This is an older seed bead earring. Maybe not terribly old, but... Sometimes I have to make sure I don't grab my bag of like stuff that needs to be tested, but... Anyway, looks like we have an older clip-on. Wow, that's pretty. Oh, it must be that there's only one of these. Isn't that amazing? Look at that metal, that brass metal. All those years, the beautiful shape of that clip-on. Oh my gosh, right? Just precious. Okay, goodbye, my baby. Thank you for all you did. You've been around since... Probably the 1930s or 20s even. What a beautiful thing you are. All right, looks like another something or other. I do want to spread this vintage jewelry around a little bit, but let's see what we've got here. This looks like a humdinger. All right, that's going to go in. This is something. Gold tone chain is in excellent condition. Just looks like it lost its connectivity. Nothing missing yet. These are black stones, clear. Oh, it's missing that one. Oh, that's a bummer. It's a beautiful necklace otherwise. Yeah, 
Wow. Okay. So this is going to go in here too. I don't think I can fit anything else. I'll have to mess around with this a little bit. Pack that up. And then these other things that we took a peek at. I'm going to put them back in here because it looks like we can have fun with them next time. Oh, I'll put this in. This looks like it goes with that other piece that we put in there. Okay, here's some things to look forward to next time. Right? Is that gorgeous? <gasps> and that. All right, I better stop or you'll be messaging me saying, can I have that something something in that bag and I won't know where it is or how in the world to find it. And I'll feel so bad. I don't want to feel bad, so. Okay. I'm going to put that in the test bag. So this is our craft jar named Katie. It's $20. I will wrap it carefully. And I think we're supposed to put that in there too. I'll fit it in there for sure. And yes, thank you for that. Okay, so just a short video, I think. I'm going to do one more big craft bag. And maybe our next video will be opening a new box, okay? This is craft bag named Jim. I've been naming these after my brothers. This is named Jim. Some of these things you can wear and some of them you can craft with. So we'll get started with this big silver bracelet. It does have a couple rhinestones missing. Nothing wrong with this leather piece, it just has some wear inside. This is a beautiful vintage piece, but not terribly old, but it is stained. I couldn't get the stain off, I soaked it. It's an Irwin Pearl. Irwin Pearl. That's a nice maker, really nice maker. I don't know how to get that off. But Irwin Pearl is big time, so I hope you can, because that will be worth some money. This is from that box I opened that says, don't ever buy this type of Shop Goodwill box. If you go to my channel and you tap on the videos tab and you scroll down, because it's about 20 videos ago. I can't believe I've made like 40 videos now. That's not a lot, but to me it's a lot. You scroll back in my videos and you'll find, you'll see a box with a sad face on it. And it just says, make sure you don't buy this type of a box. Anyway, when I opened that box, a lot of you commented and said, hey, we'll buy those as craft pieces because we like the stones. So from time to time, I put these in the craft bags and these do have real stones on them. Nothing wrong with the necklace, but if you go and watch that video, you'll see what I mean about all the pieces in general. This is a lovely gold tone necklace. It's broken. This is marked with a A that looks like that. So I thought it felt nice and quality, but it is broken. We have some bangles, silver tone. These beads are probably acrylic. There's faceted ones in between. Oh, I'm sorry, they're wood. I can see now. So wooden beads and acrylic beads with a pretty cool coating on them. And maybe this is helpful to you, this part here. Don't know. But that goes in. We also have another bag of big earrings from that big earring lot. That was so fun. That video is called Big Earrings, Big Fun. And it was fun. I laughed a lot during that video. This is cute, isn't it? With the coin and all of that. So, what's interesting about this earring is it's exactly the same as that big green necklace. Do you remember that necklace, any of you? Exactly like this. It was all painted green acrylic, giant necklace. So, I don't know. Why would it be exactly... Maybe the same company, and they made a miniature print for the earrings to match, but some of them were painted, some weren't. I don't know. I just thought I would ask you all what you think about that. So you've got some beads and some findings in there. 
I'm awfully close to the microphone. I hope it's not going to be too crackly. This is so interesting. I couldn't find anything about it. It does feel like it's all solid brass. Very heavy. Really neat how it's linked together. Just so cool. So that's going to go in. This is pretty. I like those beads. It's got like a silvery black shiny bead on there. Nothing wrong. Just trying to move on. And this does have some wear. So it has some glass pearls and some silver and gold tone. That is our gym bag. Large craft bag. And we'll do this one for 24. So you just send me the video name, episode number, craft bag gym for $24 and I'll know what you're talking about, okay? Thank you very much for that. So I'd like to thank you for watching the video. Please do subscribe if you like the channel. And don't forget to hit that like button on your way out. And hit the bell so that the next time I uh, post a video, you'll know it right away. You'll be notified. YouTube will notify you. Not sure if next one will be a fun jewelry color bag night or if it'll be opening a new box. So you'll have to stay tuned. But thank you so much. And we'll see you next time at the Bobbles.